Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Yes, we have guests back to back. That's just how we do it. Uh, I'm introducing my next guest and his name is Peace Oredo. B, also known as P Prime, born 26 March 2000. Mm, I'll, I'll just hold that one for your package. They don't need to know. Um, in Lagos State, Nigeria, P Prime is a young, multi talented, and highly musically inclined genius. Yes, I said it. And he joined his family church choir when he was five years old and started playing musical instruments. Not long after, he started with the drums and then he started playing pianos, a little bit of the saxophone as well, and then the guitar. So yeah, pretty much he's hands-on. He graduated from Nuga Paul High School, after which he attended a summer music school at the Museum Center in Lagos, and later attended the SARS Academy in 2018. As a music producer, he has worked with very well-known artists in the Nigerian music industry, such as Ola Lammy D, Fireboy, Tenny, Zantlan, DJ Copy, our previous delectable guest, Good Girl LA, Basky, and please welcome with me, P Prime. Get ah. it! Hi. How's it going? It's good. I'm not gonna lie. When I was writing your scripts and I saw your name, I was I screamed. I'm like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> First of all, it's making me feel old. And I like to say that I'm a young girl myself. I'm, I'm you're quite too, young though. I know, because yeah. for for like your works and your Art and your sound it is quite aged, pretty timeless. I get I get that a lot. I can so like imagine. for everyone that actually meets me, they're like, "Oh, you look nothing like your sound." I'm like, "Yeah, oh, come on, what's going on?" Why Why do you think that is? Were you exposed to life a lot earlier? Because I mean, what what makes you create such genius work? Please, I'm in awe right now. Um. I think I actually go exposed to life earlier and everything, mm. and basically everyone around me. I actually came from like a musical background, like a musical so that's family the chief. and everything. Hey, no. ah. Well, yeah, yeah, the family church choir. Yeah, family church choir and everything. Your, your parents were pastors. No, oh, but okay. they actually had like a strong ground in church and everything. So right. with the choir and everything. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It. All right. So my question is, um, I know you worked on the Lama Days album, um, yes. Kapi Diem. Yeah. Did, did I pronounce yes. it right? That's the yeah, vibe, Kapi right? Diem. Yeah. And um, I know um, you did like seven tracks out of um, twelve songs on yes. that album, and that is amazing because the Lama Day, you know, is genius, and he only drops eight tracks. Yeah, he's dropping yeah. it mm -hmm. back to back, you know. And uh, working with someone like you is because it's all potential mm -hmm. in you as well. So um, there's this particular song, Eru, right? I don't want to care about how I'm feeling, right? <laughs> the moment Eru drops, look, <laughs> let me be having the worst quarrel with my girlfriend, and Eru drops. We'll talk about to just start dancing. Get I feel like, like, I feel like. money. <laughs> what was the inspiration? What was the vibe? I just want to know the vibe in the studio when that song was made. Mm. So, how that song actually came about, yeah? Uh, I was going to send a beat back to Badu for the first time, mm -hmm. and... The day I created that song, that's, I must have been very happy that day. Because whenever that song comes in, it just has this happy, yeah. happy Bible hit and everything. So I I think I was in a good mood that day. Something mm. something happened. I was and in then a good did you, mood. Did you, did you, you, did you, what's it called now? Um, uh, happiness that was tr transmitted to Olami Day. Because yes, Day too, because I feel like he actually energy, he caught, like, it caught the vibe. It caught mm. the vibe immediately. It was contagious. And, yes, mm. actually. What, what was your favorite on that album, person? Are you even allowed to say? <laughs> I can't even be your favorite. Right? That's yeah, you can't. I okay, can't, top I, three. We can top do top three. three. Um, Eru. Mm. I love Chimichanga. Green okay. light. Green light. Yeah. <laughs> what Chimichanga and green light are like? This kind of like the yeah. same. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, um, I, I also like to know. You know, a lot of people. Yeah, she didn't want to talk about your age, but I think it's 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 a motivational factor as well you just turned 18 or you're gonna be 19 pretty soon right yeah next year. and then you're yeah, next year and a lot of people you know uh out there that they don't believe in their dreams and they just don't go after it but at a very young age you know you you became versatile and playing the saxophone and playing the piano you know yeah. you went on to um, improve yourself by going to the size academy and stuff a lot of people won't go that far you know it's cool to be self-taught yeah. but you improved yourself yeah. now what would be your advice to the younger people that feel like yeah i'm sure you've met people in your yeah. age group that are <laughs> quite good but they don't have the platform or the opportunity that you are so what would be your advice to them um keep working and keep trying to put yourself out there but do not force it because if you force it 
you just might look sometimes. desperate. Mm. Yes, and you do not want to fall in the hands of the wrong person. People. Yeah, I was going to actually feel Before you over power the guy, I think he just wants to have a chat with you after. Just give me his water. Maybe we we'll continue <laughs> no, talking. No, 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 but I want to, because we don't have enough time, and I need All to right. throw in a question really quickly because we're running out of time. Yeah. In your journey right now, you've made a lot of songs. You've been, a, you've proven your, yourself. Yeah. What's that one thing that you want to put out there, either to your fans or investors or anyone? Like, what are you looking for? What, what kind of support are you looking for right now? Hmm. Oh, you don't need any. Uh, oh, I must, <laughs> uh, please help me. <laughs> help me. Is there any project yeah. that you're working on, or we should just keep on supporting Cap ADM? Keep supporting and keep expecting, basically. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, and that's how we're gonna leave it. Please stay tuned. Like I mentioned earlier, there's games, there's fun vibes. We're gonna bring in um, Good Girl Ellie as well. So please stay tuned for that.